I, I just would like to call up uh, Ron Zeritsky, who is uh, planning to pay tribute to Ron Rubin. Uh, I think the, the line is, heroes get remembered, but legends never die. And, and Ron was really a larger than life figure. So excited to hear what you have to say. Thanks, John. Thanks, uh, David. One of the best parts about Jeffrey is the sharing. And I think we, uh, that was such, such a treat to hear and all, all that sharing. So please, uh, another round of applause. <clears throat> uh, good morning. Uh, Ron Rubin meant a lot to me and to my family. He had many admirable traits and I make every effort to emulate them every day. Ron was a legendary storyteller, which many of you witnessed. And uh, many of you also got to hear his, uh, his love of jokes. Uh, like my father, Ron loves, loved deals and loved his job. He was a loyal friend and a dependable partner and wasn't afraid to take chances with you. Over the last 30 years, Ron was the go-to guy in Philadelphia for business, help with boards, politics, new initiatives, and were just good old fashioned advice. Ron had contacts and relationships all across the country and the world, and he impacted so many good causes, many of them you'd never know he had been involved with. Maybe that was his best quality. He always tried to do the right thing, but was modest about his involvement. Well, Ron, I, I think if, if I could have one more day with, with, with you, I wish it could be in a, a strategy session where we're talking about a new deal uh, with my father and with Lenny and, and Paul and Gilly. Those sessions will go down in, in my memory banks as highlight reels for my professional career. I hope you all enjoy uh, the video. Well, I grew up in West Philadelphia. I didn't really know what I was going to do when I, uh, when I got older. I figured my, my dad was a working man, I'd be a working man. I have played a role in the city. Uh, I created, with help, the Center City District. I like the part of the business where you, uh, where you dream uh, a project and then you execute that project and make it happen. I learned from both my mother and father uh, about giving back. I do that financially uh, as well as uh, actively. I built a whole business and a life around relationships. Relationships with family, relationships with friends, and relationships with business people. And all of my relationships that are meaningful or any relationship is based on trust. And that, that characteristic is really everything to me. He used to call him the little guy or the little man. It was a term of endearment and admiration. He barely reached five foot six inches, but when he walked into a room, he commanded it. Ron helped redefine the skyline of Philadelphia. He was an amazing business person and, and built amazing things. Ron was a convener uh, when it came to the city of Philadelphia politics or philanthropy. 
it wasn't just him. He led by example, but he also helped to make sure that it wasn't just about him. He brought other people in the room and other people in the community. Uh, he wanted to shake your hand. He wanted to tell you a story. He wanted to hear your story. He wanted to bond with you, and he did. Ron had what my parents would say in Yiddish, good neshuma, a good soul. He had an aura of goodness surrounding him. He was a philanthropist and a thought leader that ensured our Jewish community really thrived for generations to come. The Jewish Museum, that was a passion project of Ron's to being involved in the Federation. Uh, I never saw a cause in the Jewish community that he didn't support and didn't support in a meaningful way. And so for Ron, it was never no, it was always yes and how much and what do you need? And I think that's his greatest legacy. He would help because it was the right thing to do. As a mother of two young children and a family here in Philadelphia, I am extremely grateful for the path that Ron has led to ensure my family has a strong, vibrant future throughout the retail world, as well as the Jewish community. Ron was, was certainly a significant leader in the Jewish community. Um, but for me, his impact on Jeffrey um, was so significant. And, and that will have a lasting impact on the Jewish community.